ladies and gents, we got a new, <laughs> some new sparring footage between uh, the one and only Sean Strickland, former middleweight champion of the world, and a YouTuber. <laughs> I guess a rumbler now. I don't know what you'd call that in Sneeko, guys. A lot of people are talking smacks about Sean Strickland for absolutely lighting Sneeko up in this clip. We're going to go over it real quick here, talk about my opinion about it, what I think, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Strickland just immediately talking absolute smack to him. Walking him down, obviously, you know, doesn't even need a guard here. Sneeko obviously doesn't have much power. I mean, this is a former world champion, okay? A guy who very closely lost his last fight. Sneeko's getting there, though, man. He, he's starting to develop as a fighter. You know, he's got a little decent jab going. He's working a little bit. He's got a little bit of a stance there. And he's landing shots, man. He's landing shots on the one and only Sean Strickland, right? I don't think he has the, the physical capability to hurt Sean, but I also don't think that he would even be trying to because he knows that it's just about whenever Sean decides to turn it on, uh, it's going to be game over. Now, I will say, when I first watched this clip, I, I was convinced that Sean was going easy on him, even in, in the in the final combination that we'll see here in a second. But, uh, you know, the more I watch it, the less I believe that. I really think he was trying to put Sneeko down, and uh, he didn't. So, shout out to Sneeko there, man. I mean, he wore it. He wore the shots, and... Getting in the ring with Sean Strickland at any time is, is risk because he tells you, he's like, dude, I'm, I'm going to try to hurt you. Like, it's not, I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to try to hurt you. And uh, he definitely tried to hurt Sneeko here. Two minutes. But for about two minutes here, he just literally just toys with him. Doesn't really do anything. And then I think he decides to show him what feeling like being in an actual fight with Sean Strickland would feel like, which is this right here. Just lights him up. Huge combinations landing here. They throw in the towel immediately right as Sean starts. Sean doesn't look for it or seem to care about it. Sneeko tries to guard himself. They throw the towel again. Please, for the love of God, stop. And this is where it's over, man. He is absolutely wailing on Sneeko. They throw a third towel in. That's the entire capacity of towels that I think the corner has. Sneeko holds his own. Sneak holds his own. I mean, credit where credit is due. He gets absolutely lit up here, and he doesn't go down. I mean, let's watch that again real quick. Obviously, the towel should have been respected there, in my opinion. But Sneak was not getting hurt too bad yet. He's still fine. They throw it in again. Again, probably should have been respected. This is where it gets a bit ridiculous. I mean, Sean just... Clearly trying to put him down and Sneeko doesn't go down guys. What's my opinion on this? A lot of people are saying that Sean Strickland's a bully at the end of the day. It is Sneeko So I mean put your money where your mouth is the guy is himself a bit of a bully. So Whatever. I mean you're a man you talk about being a man the whole time like you can get punched in the face a few times It's all right. It's not the end of the world uh, I don't think that Sean's some terrible guy for going at him because and I will say this because it's clearly mutually beneficial. This has been humongous for Sneeko to be able to post to the world. Hey, man, look, I had the, the former world champion tee off on me. I didn't go down. He's got millions of views from this. He obviously knew what he was getting into when he stepped into the ring against a guy who notoriously spars just like it's a fight, goes super hard and tries to hurt people in the sparring ring. He, he, he says it over and over again. And Sneeko consented to that and you know, at the end of the day, got what he consented to. A lot of people are trying to play it in a, in a different light that, you know, Sean Strickland shouldn't have done this. And look, Sean Strickland shouldn't have done this, but Sean Strickland shouldn't do like 90% of the stuff that Sean Strickland does. This is who he is. Take it or leave it. I, I'm not a huge fan of the guy. I don't really, I'm not, not a fan of the guy. I, I like most fighters in general, but I'm aware of who he is and I'm not going to go through life and being like, whoa, wow, the guy who beats everyone up in the sparring sessions beat a guy up in a sparring session. Like, that's that's life, man. And Sneeko consented to that. Sneeko got in the ring with that. And Sneeko paid the price for it. But he also got all the benefits. So that is what it is, in my opinion. I don't think there's much too much to look into here. Obviously, Sneeko has, has a long way to go as a fighter. But I will say he's starting to learn, man. He's getting there. And he has the one thing that you can't really teach. 
and that's a little bit of that toughness, a little bit of that durability. I would, I would, I would love to see him in the Misfits ring. I would love to see him against a guy that's uh, more maybe on his level, you know, not a literal formal world champion fighter, and uh, see where that goes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Is it really as bad as everyone is saying, or is it really not the end of the world? I mean, at the end of the day, the guy's fine. So whatever, in my opinion. Take it easy, guys. Let me know.